What's up guys, this is Zach from Angler's Escape and right here I have my favorite catfishing bait, that's Gizzard Shad. I just did a cast net throw and got about 15 in my net all at once. Just pretty lucky, but I really quickly want to show you how to cut them. So the first thing I do is I usually take off the tail. There's really no meat there. And it also helps get the scent flowing. Um, so then I take off the tail and then I usually cut them into about thirds. It's summertime, so the fish are taking a little bigger baits. So usually, a bait like this, I mean a one pound catfish will take. Sometimes if I'm catching, if it's at night and I'm fishing, I'll use this entire rest of the fish for bait. You can see it's real bloody right there. So there's a lot of blood coming out, a lot of scent. Gizzard shad are just really oily fish. So they're one of the best baits out there. But since it's midday and the big fish aren't biting yet, I'm gonna go ahead and go after the smaller ones, probably in the one to 10 pound range. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this a couple more times. And then this headpiece, you'd be surprised, but a three pound catfish will take that headpiece as long as you have the hook exposed enough. But now I wanna show you, you can see how I've cut all these. They're real uh, oily and they have a lot of scent. But this is the rig that I use to hook them on. And right here I have just a sliding sinker. And this is five ounces because I really like to cast it out there a long ways, but you can easily get away with two ounces if it's not much current. This is on a lake, so I just have this much weight to really launch it out there into the channel but uh, anyway right here I have two 4 circle hooks and a lot of times I'll have two hooks to experiment with which ones work best so I'll try out different brands different sizes to see which ones are getting the best hookup ratios recently these 4 circle hooks have been doing the best during the night I'll upsize the hook baits a little bit because that's when the bigger catfish come on the feed but right now during the day I'm catching one to ten pound blue catfish so mainly I'm just using these smaller bits and so what I'm doing is kind of hooking it through the back and you want to make sure these hooks are really exposed so that hooks pretty exposed right there make sure you get all the scales off and that's one bait and then I always like to use a head bait the heads work the best in my opinion and this one you can go through the mouth and kind of out the snout and again you want to make sure you really get it exposed like that see how that really sticks out right there when they grab it We'll take in that and that's really hard, they can't rip that loose. So I have the best hookup ratios with the head and the head seems to put out the most scent. So right there's my rig and now this is also a 60, 60 pound monofilament line. Or I mean not monofilament but braided, which is a lot thinner di diameter than monofilament so I can get a lot more on there. A little lot higher pound test line. But I'll go ahead and cast this out and hopefully get some nice blue catfish on this. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys will never believe what I just caught. Two catfish at once on the two hook rig. First I thought this had to have been a catfish probably 10 pounds plus, but then I realized I got two blue catfish, small blue catfish that were both caught on cut shad on two 4 circle hooks. Actually, one's a 5 circle hook, one's a 4 circle hook. And it just shows how effective this two hook rig can be.
here I have a really nice stringer of blue catfish and channel catfish that I caught today and um, we caught about 10 of these guys between me and my friends and we're gonna go ahead and fillet them but uh, some real nice fish it should taste great